what's going on guys welcome back to my channel now in this video i'll be solving the following question now the question goes like write the java application and new suite additional array that will store the three rating of five tv shows now they said our problem must have it must contain two dimensional array to contain three rating for five different series and single array to contain the series names now they give us a table this table i feel like this part is going to represent the single array and this one is going to represent the two dimensional array now i said we should calculate and print the average of tv rating for each tv show and again uh which they said uh, we should determine if the series will be continued for another season if average rating of the series is greater than or equals to seven then the tv network will be continued with a new season now if i can scroll down a bit they said we should print out the series name with the average rating and if there will be a series continuation now they gave us the example of the output now without, without wasting any time guys let's jump into netpin now let's create a new java application now i'm gonna create a new project i want to call my project uh tv shows rating shows rating then i'll click finish now i'm on my main class guys we all know that before we start any coding let's start by cleaning our class and for everyone to see let me just zoom in a little bit i think that's too much but then now uh, that should be okay okay yeah so now what i'll do i'll start with declaring a uh, single array for uh, for tv shows and names so what i'll do i'll, I'll declare a single array this single array it's for tv shows tv show names we call that so i'm gonna let it be private and again it has to be static since i wanna use this in my main uh, method and my main method is static so i'm gonna store, store string values so i'm gonna show i'm gonna call it tv uh, show names gonna be like that and then it's gonna be a dummy sorry it's gonna be an array just like that then i'm gonna store the face value and then i'll say comma go to the next line and here i should store the second value so for what from what they gave us i think the first television show we're gonna have is gonna be big bang theory scandal and more than family okay it's gonna be big bang theory here we have scandal then now here i think we're gonna have a uh, modern family my modern family modern family and the fourth one let's double check the fourth tv show is gonna be I don't know this one. Sorry. Then the last one we should have current designs. Current designs. The last one is gonna be current designs. There we go. So spelling for current designs. Ah. Uh, okay. There we go. It's gonna be grand. The sequence. I hope my spelling is correct so now for me to be able to see everything now let me just give spaces here so that i can align everything proper uh, again i'll give a line over here and i'll leave the spaces over here there we go okay now that's it for my single array now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do now i'm gonna declare declare a 2d array to store now this time i want to store um tv show ratings there we go so again i'll let it be a private then again it has to be static it's gonna store into values this one it's gonna store integers so i think i should call it a uh, tv show ratings like that and then it's gonna be a two terminal array then then i can start completing my array so for the first row 
back I'm gonna have bent then I wanna leave a line and then I'll just do the second row so before I go any further let me just populate my 2D array okay from what I have from this table now uh, okay let's use this let's just use this table for big bang theory for rating one i have a nine rating two i have eight rating two i have five so it's gonna be nine eight five so go back to our code for big bang theory is gonna be nine eight and five oh god nine eight and five there we go now for a second television show yeah it's, it's rating is gonna be Standard seven five five. There we go. That'll be seven five. Oh God, five and five. Go to my next row. Now in this one, it's gonna be more than family. It's gonna be eight eight eight. I'm gonna have eight eight eight. Go to the next one. And then after modern family, what we have is the extra is ten, seven, eight. It's gonna be ten, seven, and eight. Then the last one, it's gonna be three, one, five. Grand design. My grand design is gonna be three, one, and five just like that now i'm done with my two dimensional array now again no. again what i will need guys is gonna be a variable that will store the average for each a uh, television show but then what i'm what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna declare it over here and say private uh this is gonna be a comment so i'll be declaring a variable to hold um average then I'll say it's gonna be private, it's gonna be static again. Now this one is gonna be an int. I'm gonna call it average. Let me assign assign the value of zero. Now again guys, I'll say this one is my main method. Let me just leave a comment over here. Now let's go to our main method. Now first thing first guys, what I wanna do before I start looping through the arrays, I just want to display this message on a say out dot uh print then let's just add imports to our out there we go and now guys let's go back to the question paper they gave us a message before we print anything okay now it's gonna be tv shows and it's gonna be it's gonna be a tv show rating and series continu continuation so what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna say i'm gonna say it's gonna be a tv show then I'm gonna leave a space for slash t. Then again, I'm gonna say this one gonna be iterating space for slash t. Then the last one gonna be, gonna be something continuation, TV show continuation or what? Series continuation. Okay, gonna be series continuation. I hope my spelling is correct, guys. And then what I'm gonna do after that, I'm just gonna go to the next line for slash n. And then after that, I'll just string concatenate that. Then after that, I wanna print the stars. Then after printing the stars again, I just wanna leave it on with for slash n. Then now I can start my loop. So I'll be looping through arrays. There you go. Now the first one I want to say is going to be my for loop and again in my for loop I want to have uh, my loop controller which is going to be an in i I want to assign the value of 0 initialize it to 0 then while my i is less than now I want to start by looping through my TV show uh, names I want to copy that I want to say now this one dot I want its length then while my i is less than that I want to increment my hi just like that now now what i want to do here i just want to simply display let me say out dot dot print what i want to print i want to print the name of my tv show so i'm going to say this i'm going to paste that now i say i 
and then after that I'll say pass stream concatenate that and then there will be some data following here and then after that I'll go to the next time but then before we do that let's just uh, finish this one up okay guys again I wanna loop through these two D array so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have an inner loop inside here so it is gonna be a four okay now just leave it like that I'm gonna leave a comment over here say inner loop to loop the 2d array just like that so it's gonna be four each controller is gonna be int a is uh, initialized to zero and while my a is less than now i want the length of each row so i'm gonna say this dot each row is gonna be i i is gonna loop each and every row of this array and i'm gonna get the length of each row and why my uh, why my a is less than that i want to increment my a a plus plus so i believe that this a is going to retain the value of sorry this statement is going to retain the value of three because the length of the first row is going to be three the length of the second row is going to be three length of the third row is going to be three unless if we make changes from this array so then this value it will change but for now it's going to stay at three this one is going to stay at three so and again what i want to do is i want to calculate the average so I already have the variable for average so what I'll do I'll say this average is gonna be equals to so let me say calculating the average so my average is gonna be equals to so now let me just use brackets so that what I'm gonna do here is gonna be read as a single value so I'm gonna say this average is gonna be is gonna be uh, equals to average plus now I wanna take all the TV shows I take all the TV shows rating then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each value from each uh, row which is gonna be a a is gonna loop a uh, each uh, index of this uh, row so again what I wanna do is I wanna add everything to to my average and then after that what I'll do is I'll be saying now okay now guys what i can say is this one is going to return a sum of uh each row so if we run this application for the first time it's going to return the sum of the first row and again if it loops for the second time now it's going to return the sum of a second row up until the last row and then after that now after returning the sum what i'll do is i'll update my average over here which is going to be average is equal to average now this time i want the average which is going to be what uh, the, the, the total a value of each row is going to be three so what i'm going to do is i want to say the average is equal to average divide by three like that or what i can simply do is i can just take this uh, length over here i can take this length over here since it returns the the total of each row and the total of each row is it's three so i think even this one it will work uh, better so after that even if i can put this thing to bracket it's fine so that i can use it as a single value now i think it's perfect and then what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna leave a line and then i say for slash t again leave a line and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna string concatenate that and i wanna display my average just like that and again now what i'll need i'll need to declare another variable that to determine if the series will be continued for a, to a next uh, season or not so again i'll say private and it's gonna be static now this one i believe is gonna be a string since i was gonna return a yes or a no so i wanna say series continuation now for now i'll just assign the value of nothing and then what i'll do is i'll copy that right before after editing our average now here i'll be determining the the term determining if the series will continue to the next series okay i'll just leave it like that then i'll say now this uh series continuation is going to be equal to now we're going to check if uh, this average 
if when I check if this average is um, greater or equals to 7 so if EB is equal to 7 when I check if this average is equal to 7 if it is equal to 7 now to this variable if this average is equal to 7 now to this uh, uh, variable we want to assign the value of of yes meaning the series will continue to an season or else what we're gonna do is we want to assign the value of a no then that's my if statement then what i'll do that's my condition statement then after that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna copy that i'm gonna display now if this season sorry if this series it will continue or not so again i'll leave a space i'll say for slash n sorry for slash t and then i'll say oh god what am i doing then i, I have the string combine like this and print if the series will continue or not all i did that after printing uh let's say i want to print the results or the data for a uh, first um, tv show then after that again i have the string concatenated so that i can go to an extent before i print the data for a second uh, tv show so guys if you can just simply test our application and see if everything is running uh, smooth let's just click this run button and see if we have what we are expecting oh god i see a red message so I mean I'm, I'm having an error somewhere so it says the array blah, 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 is out of bounds okay now let's go to our looping statements and i will check if we made a mistake yep there we go now here i was supposed to say a plus 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 in fact i'm incrementing my i twice so here i was supposed to have a a then after that yeah i think the error is fixed now let's just go back and run the application and see if we still have errors now there we go i think we don't have any error so but my problem is this thing is just keep on displaying scandal 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 but i believe my uh data okay no it's not 100 percent correct now this thing i don't think it's retaining what i want so to do this now to fix this one what i'll do is because each and every time i add a you know, a value to my average it stays like that so immediately after printing after printing a series what i'll do is after printing a data for a tv show now i'll what i'll just set my average to zero so that i can just clear it so that i can so that when the loop runs uh for the second time it can be able to load new uh data so and again with this one i used one instead of i so it was supposed to be i because i want to loop through each and every index of this array not only one index so what i'll do is i'll run my election again now i hope all the errors are fixed now there we go now i believe my data is my application is working so if i can just minimize this a little bit oh that's too much that's too much let me just increase the size now i think that's better okay now let's compare our results with this one so for big bang theory we have seven and it's yes and then for scale it's five and it's no so let's look at our application big bang theory is going to be seven it's a yes it's going to be five it's going to be no and for more theory is going to be eight and yes and from our question it said what if it is eight and yes and as well as this one is going to be eight and yes and grand design is going to be three and no so let's just refer to our application for the last time and everything guys is working perfect okay guys now that's it for uh, this video i hope you learned a lot and um, please don't forget to subscribe and leave a, leave a comment if you have any question so for now cheers